I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm not stopping streaming. If that's what you guys are thinking. No, I'm not stepping away from streaming. Trying to do content for three channels has been like a kind of like been a pain in my ass because like trying to juggle like GTA, trying to juggle Warzone, and trying to juggle like vlogging has just been a pain in my ass considering now like I'm going to be implementing like IRL streaming like into my content now that we actually have an IRL setup, which is actually really nice, which I still kind of need to get used to and I need to figure out how to turn on TTS. But I literally did not take my medication, I can tell. I think for the direction for my main channel, I think I'm going to step away from Apex Frag videos because that just doesn't seem to be doing well on my channel. And I just, I mean, I just don't know like what to cater to. So I've spoken to like a few different people regarding my YouTube channel because like it kind of sucks like trying to put all this effort into like actually getting high kill gameplay and stuff, but not seeing the outcome like that I want to see. So I think I'm just going to be steering away entirely from like fragging content because again, like it does, just doesn't do well and I don't get the outcome like that I see. So I think I'm just going to stick to like funny moments and stuff like that. Educational videos because somehow that does really, really good. Like I'm not getting more than like 1.2k or 1000 views on the video and the video is pretty good and my like my frag videos are, are really good. It's like, okay, like the fuck like the fuck do i do here from now other than that i'm probably gonna be putting my IRL content on my main channel as well so you guys are gonna see a shift between that and then you guys are also i'm gonna see how well my warzone frag videos do because my warzone frag videos end up doing really fucking well really really well they end up doing better than apex frag videos which says a lot. I get hackusated a lot more on Warzone than I do on Apex. And people end up watching my frag videos on Warzone more than Apex. I think I think that's just the way. I, I, I just genuinely don't think frag videos are there anymore for a streamer like me. If you're like someone like Cole or Mandy or, or Hal, like that's already established. But like, that's just not there for me. Kind of crazy how recognition or put in, putting in hard work and fragging content is better in COD than it is in Apex. Like, I'm not saying, like, I'm not getting, like, the recognition, like, I deserve. It's, like, I'm not getting that traction on YouTube that I want to get compared to, like, my traction on Warzone. Does that make sense? Like, like, let me, statistically, like, let me, let me pull this up. So, this is all, like, this is all, like, my views and stuff right like this is ass this is fucking ass compared to like where i want to be this is good okay i looked over this with someone else like this is good if i go over like my views entirely from like high to low this got fifty seven thousand views this got 56 this got 11 this got nine this got eight this got seven this got six this is my one of my most flopped videos my monitor video got 6k views this got 6k views. This is also an educational video. This is like a funny moments trolling randoms. This is also like a frag funny moments video. This is also a funny moments video. This is like an educational video of when I first played. And then going from here, like this is a brand new channel. And I already get like, look, this has 26 comments on it. Right? This has 619 views, but this is 45. There's people, a bunch of like accusating me and stuff this was a really good video this was a really good video 1k views 1k views like this one didn't do as well but that's okay like just seeing these numbers better on a new channel versus like my main channel seeing like my main get traction like that it was like very like demotivating apex is dying i will say that apex is dying 100 percent and I don't want to have one channel entirely just for Apex. And when Apex goes down the fucking drain, I'm not trying to have like the entire channel go down the drain. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like fully funneling this channel with different content is Apex is going to be dead within the next, the next year. I hate to be that person, but Apex is genuinely fucking dying. This is like, we're literally seeing the end of Apex right now. So, and I've been saying this for like the past year, which is why like I've been trying to jump into so many other content like warzone for example warzone we've we've done so many things in warzone already like only having like what four months only playing in warzone from playing the beta for modern warfare 3 already getting invited to la to play test black ops 6 going to cod next having cod just fly cod just flew me out in order to try the new halloween mode like what 
That's crazy to me. They literally flew me in for the creators out. It was five of us there. Never would I have expected that in a million years, by the way. Call of Duty, a game that I literally grew up playing, be like, hey, we want to fly you out and do content. Like, are you kidding me? I am, and I want to be a content creator. Not just for one thing. Like, I want to do so much content. So that hasn't, like, entirely been up on my mind for a really long time. That's just where we're going in the direction. So you guys are like, why am I seeing Warzone content? I'm only going to be trying out Warzone content for a little bit on my main channel again to see how it goes because I just don't want this to be, like, I don't want this channel to die. So I know you guys, like, actually enjoy watching so much of my content already. You guys that support and that are already here for for my for my gta streams for my warzone streams like you know i appreciate you guys more than you know like you guys really really keep me going so